Good morning guys. This is the edge pieces for the uh, Rubik's Cube. Reprinted. This time I flip them over so there's a flat face against the bed and these bits which failed on my previous print look fine. It's a bit tight to the bed at the moment. I can't move it. Alright, I can't do that one-handed. I'll free them up and we'll see if we can fit them to the cube. Looks better. Freed them up. They look better. The only thing that might be a bit of a problem, only a minor problem, is the the edge that was against the bed. It's probably have elephant's foot. Shouldn't have. But I think it will. I've got the settings with the negative setting on the first layer, but that still feels a little bit a little bit sharper than it should do. I've spent some time uh, filing down the rough bits, so we'll see if we can put it together. Uh, let's okay. So our bottom layer. Next. Seems to be sitting up a bit proud. Uh -huh. Right. The benefit of having no colours on it is obviously it doesn't matter what I do to it, I can tell you it's right. <laughs> but you can buy the sticky labels if you follow the link through to the guy who designed it. Um, he gives a link to where you can buy the labels. Or I suppose you could paint it. I'm just happy to get it working after the problems printing it. I 
obviously you could spray some lubricant in there to help it spin round. I think if you did it too fast, the PLA will melt. <laughs> or soften, anyway. But there we go. A 3D printed Rubik's Cube. Off Thingiverse. Obviously, the more you use it, the more it's going to wear in over the rough bits. That's pretty loose, isn't it? As long as you get it lined up right. Same as any cube. Job done. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again.